reported that the man was threatening to stab people on the plane. But tonight, airport officials are now telling us there were no threats made to stab anyone. A frightening experience for passengers on board a Frontier Airlines flight that had to make an emergency landing at Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. The Transportation Security Administration says a passenger on board the flight from Cincinnati en route to Tampa had a box cutter and was being disrupted before the pilot diverted to Atlanta. A TSA statement reads in part, the cockpit was secure and passengers were deplaned in ATL. FBI and Atlanta Police Department responded to the incident, took the suspect into custody, and the flight was canceled. The TSA says it didn't stop there, and in fact, a second box cutter was found in the passenger's carry-on. Other travelers who were not on board that particular flight said the incident is frightening, but for some, like Josh Desubu, it's no deal breaker. I do still trust them. You know, one box cutter incident probably isn't, you know, statistically that you, you got to statistically expect that. Viola Harris, on the other hand, expressed some concerns about TSA security measures as she wonders why the passenger got through Cincinnati's checkpoint. How did he get on there? TSA, you know, security purposes, um, even um, the check here needs to have some type of metal detector. Um, it did make me feel unsafe, especially with small children and a mother as a woman. Like, what would I have done? You know, so hopefully it gets better. Frontier said they will work with customers on hotel vouchers. The security breach happened just ahead of the busy holiday travel season when millions will go through checkpoints across the country. Hartsfield Jackson is also in the process of upgrading machines at those checkpoints. Security should be up now because it's closer to the holidays um, and just there's a lot going on nowadays. Atlanta police say the FBI is now leading the investigation. At Hartsfield Jackson, Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First.